20-year-old British sprinter O.J. Edoberan is a rising star of the athletics world, and in the years ahead, he's aiming to make a big impact on the international track and field scene. I think for me, I've always been fascinated with getting somewhere fast. Anything I do, if it's driving, if it's just anything I'm trying to do, I just want to do it fast. And I think one of my biggest motivations to start athletics was probably watching Usain Bolt in 2009 in Berlin break the world record. And um, I didn't know too much about the sport in the sense of um, who was the fastest ranked or whatever, but just watching that final alone and seeing how fast he ran the race just made me feel like that's what I wanted to do. So it, it made sense for me to just start athletics. Hailing from North London, OJ began sprinting seriously at high school, where he also starred on the football pitch. In 2013, he won silver in the 100 metres at the IAAF World Youth Championships in Ukraine. He followed that up two years later by winning gold at the European Junior Championships. Yet despite his success at the junior level, OJ's transition to the senior ranks hasn't been as smooth as he would have liked. For me, I'd actually say it's been quite difficult because I ran 10-16 when I was 18, which is going on three years now. And um, it can be tough because I feel like a lot of youngsters want to change what makes them fast in order to fit in with the seniors. Whereas I actually think embracing your talent and embracing what makes you good will help you be a good senior. OJ trains at the Lee Valley Athletic Centre in North London. Here, he works under the tutelage of Jonas Tawaya Dodu, who previously coached 2012 Olympic long jump champion Greg Rutherford. But if the posture falls apart... Jonas has been impressed with the hard work that OJ has put in to reach the competitive level of his peers. Sometimes we talk about OJ not being the most talented athlete. And, and what we mean by that is that talent normally just turns up and runs fast. OJ's worked to, to become fast. He's, he's, he's trained, he's challenged himself, he's, um, he's researched and he's, he's put the, the building blocks together to become fast. And so he may not be the most genetically gifted with fast twitch fibres or of great fascia, but he is so, definitely someone who has the mindset to keep building. At Lee Valley, OJ trains alongside many other young British sprinters, such as CJ Ujar, Rhys Prescott and Daryl Nita. With such a close-knit group of talented athletes, it was no surprise to see some of them make the Olympic team for the Rio Games. At the British Olympic trials, OJ finished fourth in the 100 metres final, narrowly missing out on an individual spot for Rio. However, following a scintillating relay leg at last year's London Diamond League meeting, OJ convinced the selectors to take him to Rio as part of the relay team. When you take a step back from it and actually realise that I'm actually 20 years old and I'm going to become an Olympian, it's like four years ago I was sitting in my front room just playing Xbox, like not even thinking that the Olympics would come so soon. So for me, it was kind of like a, it was a surreal feeling because um, a lot of people never get the chance to go to the Olympics. And for me to go at such a young age, it just, it just shows that there's great potential for me um, in the future. At the Rio Olympics, it was very competitive to make the final squad for the British sprint relay team. And OJ didn't get a chance to race at the games. Nevertheless, the experience of the Olympics and the pre-games training camp have set him up well for the 2017 season. So we had a two-week holding camp where I would perhaps argue it was the best two weeks we've ever had as a group and, and myself and OJ as a coach-athlete partnership. And so the, the goal for this year and the goal for the past eight weeks of training has been to not lose that momentum. So instead of going into the typical work that, that we may have done or other groups do, we've, we've made sure we've kind of carried the momentum that we built over the summer um, and the, the goal for the year is to run extremely fast, go to world champs and, and do something that people aren't expecting them to do. The 2017 Athletics World Championships will be held in London and OJ will have the full support of his family. His dad Deo is immensely proud of what his son has already achieved in the sport. OJ is a set up point of the family right from when he was small because he's a kind of level-headed 
you never get in trouble. He's always do things right. He's very respectful. He's very funny. And um, I, I think I wish he's not doing athletics. He'd probably be a comedian or something. <laughs> but it's how funny he is. First item, isn't it? OJ currently attends the University of Middlesex, where he's studying sport and exercise science. In the little free time he has away from training and his studies, OJ likes to relax with friends and fellow athletes. However, he's very much a student of his sport and spends time re-watching videos of his own races to see where he can improve. OJ is fun. OJ is really fun. Very inquisitive. Um, can be lapsy daisy, so I've got to be on him and um, remind him. But he's so dedicated and he's so on athletics to the point where actually a lot of his new kind of mindsets have been around finding the right balance because um, he's almost addicted to athletics. If he's not here, he's at home watching, reading, researching. <laughs> OJ's dedication should set him up well for this season. The World Championships will be held at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in Stratford, East London, and the thought of competing on home turf is exciting this youngster. It's London. I grew up in London. And um, it would be great to make an individual to push on and just see what I can achieve. I have no limits in terms of times and placings and all these other things. I just want to be the best OJ on the day and consistently throughout the year. And um, I hope that that translates into big performances.